Okay, so, uh, welcome to another edition of pre-screenings. So, as such, uh, we will do our best, do our best, not to spoil anything for this particular movie, within reason, of course. Which is really hard for it's, several it's, reasons. This is gonna be hard to talk about with yeah. spoilers. Because, one, this is a really damn good movie. <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> and two, it's very simple, and unfortunately, you say one small thing that kind of gives away a lot more than one would expect. Like, let's let's be clear: this is not a brilliant movie, nor is it trying to be. Yeah, it's a straightforward action movie that's actually really well shot. Yeah, uh, like it's basically the way we're, we're kind of describing it. It felt like Drive meets Red, I Red as in the one with the dog, not Red as in Retired, really, Extremely Dangerous. Really, because I was going with Retired, and Extremely Dangerous. <laughs> you didn't get that vibe? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I was going with the... I know which one you're talking about, the Brian Cox movie. But, yeah. uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I know, I have heard of that other one, too. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> I thought you were referring to that because that had a dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> I would not say anything more about that. Well, actually, <laughs> we kind of need that to set up the story because it's it well, happens well, pretty... Well, it's one of those things. I don't know how much... Yeah. It, it happens... It, have, it, I mean, okay, let me just put it this way. Story-wise... Keanu Reeves is a retired something something hitman. Yeah. Bad stuff happens. He decides to kill everyone. There's the plot. <laughs> I yeah. really don't need to go any more than that. It's a Russian mob boss. That's the bad guy. His son's well, a dick. He's the other bad guy. Yeah. I just summed up the story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's how he overcompensates <laughs> the, the, by acting as the embodiment of being a of dickishness. Oh yeah, um, Russian monster's son was played by Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> yeah, so God, he's such an ass. <laughs> no matter what he plays, he's just typecast as the jackass. And no matter what he's playing, <laughs> to give him credit, he did a really good job at it. Yeah. But, but at the same time, it's like, without giving away what happens, some stuff happens, and it's really, really kind of yeah. stupid. But as, it's easy to get past because yeah. the fall's next is fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, as uh, far as I'm concerned, like, I, I'm just going to say, like, why this whole thing happens. Like, I figure it's so early on, this doesn't really even, even really count as a spoiler. I consider major plot points past the halfway point to be spoiler territory. I don't know. It's, 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 that's going to propel the entire story going forward. Yeah. So. Plus... They talk, plus they do talk about it in the frickin', you know, IMDB pages in the Rotten Tomatoes, I just, like, plot, basic plot synopsis. Oh, did they? Because I, yeah. like, I walked this movie knowing absolutely nothing about it. Well, so. there you go. <laughs> Basically, um, his wife dies from, I think, oh, I don't know why Some she Some disease. Died. She dies yeah. because reasons. And so, upon her death, she, I guess, ordered a puppy for him. A, f <laughs> a beagle puppy. Yeah. So the first It was adorable! Ah! In the first 15 minutes, it's basically watch Keanu Reeves take care of a puppy. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> <laughs> and so... And this perfect dog, too. He's potty trained. He knows yeah. not to go outside the house. He knows all this shit. All this stuff yeah. together. And then... <laughs> Dion Greyjoy happens. Yeah. And he, then, he wants the he wants he his wants awesome a, Mustang sixty nine Mustang. Car. Basically, it's a spoiled brat character doing yeah. spoiled brat things. I was not happy when that guy was like, "Oh God, I'm really going this direction." But you know, the rest of the movie makes up for that stupid yeah. plot uh, plot device. But well, uh, as you said, had to propel the story somehow. <laughs> yeah, for and that, even that, I thought they yeah. were to so, do it. Either way, the best yeah. part though was when the Russian mob boss finds out. Yeah, and uh, be, again, without giving anything away, uh, something happens like like. Some one of the guys decks his son and makes fun of him. like, why'd you deck my son? And he goes, well, he did this and this to John Wick. And he just goes, oh. <laughs> 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 and that just hangs out. Like, I will admit, this is part that was kind of refreshing. It got kind of old after a while, but the one thing I like was refreshing is like, it's been a long time since a movie hero where you just mention his name and every yeah. bad guy's like, oh, fuck. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Not John yeah. Wick. Oh, yeah. damn it. <laughs> it is funny because basically everybody in this movie knows, knows who he is, has like a personal yeah. relationship, yeah. and knows not to fuck with him. Yeah, like every time he sees someone, he gives them a name. Yeah. So it's just like, it's interesting just like how everything's connected. And, and everyone's like surprisingly professional about it too. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing that was shocking me. It's like, Wow, these are really professional. <laughs> these are some professional mofos. <laughs> it just 
Well, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> camera just randomly said, I'm done now. Just shut off. Yeah. Uh, so, it's like, what, a really good movie you're enjoying? <laughs> Screw that. No one wants to see you happy. <laughs> Dude, this isn't left behind. We're done. <laughs> okay, so we were just about to talk about Ian McShane. Oh. Was like, I almost don't want to say anything because he only, he's annoying in two scenes, but in both scenes, he's glorious. <laughs> Uh, three scenes, season three scenes, I forgot. But he's just, <laughs> fucking he, E. McShane. Yeah. I don't care what he's in, I love him. <laughs> he's one of those guys where he's just one of the best B movie actors out he there. Absolutely it's like is. nothing will ever take over Bruce Campbell, but he is definitely up there in terms of like. He was the best part of Hercules. <laughs> did, you, did you ever watch yeah. that one? Excuse, Excuse me. me. You, that was my, my moment. moment. <laughs> you stepped on my moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god it's like again it's kind of hard to talk about without giving away spoilers but you know what it's kind of what you expect though like the action is really well choreographed yeah I mean it's Keanu Reeves, it's Keanu Reeves. he knows he knows how to do action shots yeah. so it's like and I like that they didn't use shaky cam that much there wasn't any there was a couple shots like towards the it was very very mild okay. but it was there yeah. uh, but they kept it down to like a bare bare moon which I liked and like a uh, for the most part, you could see what was happening. There was a fight scene during a nightclub that was kind of hard to make out because you got the really? flashing strobe lights. I had no problem with that. Uh, maybe it was just me more than, I don't know, maybe I'm secretly epileptic. <laughs> Never mind. Epileptic? Thank you. Uh, but it's like mostly when they got the fight with like the big bad thug and yeah. they kept, it was hard to tell what was happening because you got the flashing strobe lights yeah. constantly bombarding me in the face. Like, it was hard to tell what was happening. But, uh,. Yeah, like, I was really into this world. <laughs> like, it's yeah. world of, like, super professional assassins who, like, have, like, secret codes and, like, just really generally nice to each other and all freaking yeah. know each other, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God, and then Willem Dafoe is here, too. Yeah. It just, it this just, had such an awesome cast, and they all, like, they... They, ma they yeah. made it work for them. It's like I mean, this is pretty shallow material, but the cast and crew make it work. Yeah. Because like I said, it is, it is very well choreographed. It is very well shot, and it is very well. My one minor complaint, I feel like it might have been dragged on a little bit too long at some points. I felt like maybe they could have shaved five or so minutes off of I it. I thought it was fine. I mean, that's a, that's kind of a nitpick though, because yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, because I mean, this thing was at a pretty even one four, like around an hour forty, wasn't it? I think it's like one thirty-five. But yeah. I don't know, there's some parts I felt kind of dragged, but uh, the bad guy in this movie, the mafia yeah. boss, is great. I can never remember the guy's name, but it's the guy who's in the original uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Never saw it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Either I mean, way, he's just glorious because I think he worked with John Wick before, and he knows like his guy's like, oh damn it, not John Wick. All right, yeah. just hire everybody. Yeah. <laughs> hire everybody. Go out and kill him. And that's basically what happens. Like, even when his son comes up and uh, says, I'm not afraid of him, he's like, no, you sit down, you don't do Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just hope I can do something. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's generally movie. Yeah. Like, in the pl plot line wise, that pretty much covers all of it. Don't yeah. fuck with Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh, my God. I just remember when the first wave of people attacked him. Oh, yeah, like in the household. Oh, my God. And then like, like, the cop comes by. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently he even knows all the cops. Yeah, because, like, obviously there's that whole idea of, like, you know, the mobsters paying off officers or something like that. But the way they handle it here is uh, just... Again, it's like one thing I don't really want to say anything because yeah. it's such a funny moment. Yeah. Uh, it's one of... Basically, the best way to describe this movie is it is simultaneously over the top. Mm-hmm. But there is so much, it's so deadpan. Yeah, it plays a pretty straight face. Yeah. I mean, it is Keanu Reeves, that's what he does, yeah. basically. I mean, <laughs> it's like, mostly deadpan deliveries with a few over-the-top moments. And, like, like, it always uses it for, like, com usually does it for comedic effect, and... They're just like, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I've seen? I can't remember where was that at. Again. That's when they, the Keanu Reeves breaks from his... Uh... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh... Oh, I really... This is a movie I would not mind paying to see again. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of with you on that. Like, I was worried about it at first because I couldn't tell what what tone yeah. it was going for. Like, it looked like it was kind of... Because they did that flash-forward thing where yeah. it flashed through a random part in the, in the, towards the end yeah. of the movie. And I was like, okay, is this trying to be, like, a serious movie about, like, a guy losing his yeah. wife and 
going gun crazy, but then after a while, it's like, okay, it's clearly kind of being yeah. tongue in cheek. Like, it's, well, not really, like, it's due to kind of set up the sympathy for the character, but even though it's like, after that, it's like, it was like, okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of good scenes of Keanu Reeves actually trying to act, God bless him. Yeah. Uh, but most of there, were, there were some, I will admit, though, there were a couple awkward lines, like the part where he's like, the whole, you took from me, you stole from me. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 He killed from me! I was like, what? I was more like my the, gra <laughs> the, gra the grammar Nazi me took over around the time the word unalone came up. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, um, yeah. No one fact check, spell check that. Yeah. <laughs> like for the most part, Gary does a good job. It's it's, it's also, it also helps that he kept they kept his talking to a very minimal level. That's true. Yeah, because he didn't need to. He's, he's a Fuck, I forgot the character's name. John Wick. Yeah. Uh, it's like, damn it, his name was, he's named after the fucking thing. But, uh, no, it's because he's John Wick. He doesn't need to say anything. He just walks in and everyone goes, oh, okay. Hey, here's everything. Yeah. Go away, please. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is also respectful is that his character is, even though he's no, no, he's no nonsense and, like, is willing to just do the cold kills, mm. He's very respectful, and he very clearly believes in the whole tit-for-tat thing. Like, he doesn't go out of his way mm. to cause wanton destruction. Like, he makes sure that it's only only those involved and who deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and not, that's another thing I like about it, too, is, like, it's very, very practical effects. Like, yeah. I couldn't see much, at least nothing that I caught in my mind the way of CGI. <laughs> very little. Like, I think some, uh, there might have been one or two bits, but... I think it was for fire effects when I saw a guy burning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, it's like, again, it, I, like, I was very worried at first because I can almost hear, like, the CinemaSins voice pop in my head at a couple points, like, uh, yeah. raining during a funeral cliche <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. But, I mean, Willem Dafoe hiding the shadow cliche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you asleep yet? Uh, no. Just checking. <laughs> Damn, Damn it, I can't sink in this thing. <laughs> Just. You can try. See if I can. <laughs> it's very slow. Hey, right. there you go. No, okay, let's go to the whole review like this. Let me try it again. Uh, all right, sorry. so. Uh, this got really weird really fast. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was trying to follow through with that commitment. Just. All right. <laughs> So quick, can you do the uh, Imperial March real quick? Imperial March? Star Wars? No. Come on. You know you want to. I can't even remember how the hell they do it. No. Dun, 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 oh. dun, dun. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you wasted enough of your time there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry but, uh, just, about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this yeah. big lipped alligator moment was brought to you by uh. John Wick. <laughs> much. Well, it's like uh, there's not much left to talk about as far yeah. as story and plot goes, and just more just like what moments we liked about the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like I had a lot of fun during this. Like yeah. I haven't had this much fun in an action movie since uh, Red. So yeah, I one... mean, this is just a great throwback to like the old school action flicks. It uh, is so, like uh, like I... straightforward, great style, um, minimalist dialogue. Thank God. Yeah. Well, except for the villain. The yeah. Villain, the villain oh was yeah. <laughs> he was fantastic. Because he's like, trying to be a serious mob boss, but he knows who he's dealing with, so he also seems like really, really sheepish at the yeah. same time. It's great. And he, he kind of... He, he, he kind of yeah. chews the ch scenery a bit sometimes, but... Apparently he can hold his own. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, go figure how that works. But I was like, uh, I felt like... There, I had a few minor complaints. Like I said, I thought maybe a few scenes going to be cut. I thought the Willem Dafoe was kind of underused. Uh, and I had one more that I'm forgetting. Oh, and of course, like the dumb reason he got back into action in the first place. I was not a big fan of that. Mm. But, uh... Yeah, I was able to sympathize with it. 
I mean, obviously it did. I it was, was, but it just it, it felt was a really frustrating, stupid. Yeah, it was kind of a frustrating pet the dog one, but it's like the way they kind of built him up. I felt you know it's pretty easy to. Like, my problem isn't with the built up. My problem is the fact that that's the like they couldn't think of anything better. You had to have the jackass uh, brat do something. Oh, so not, so not. John's reasons, but the reason that was instigated in the first place. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Major. Yeah, that was pretty. No, I get why John's doing. It. I just don't like the way it was instigated. Okay, because, like that was there like, we go. Like I that really like, well, that was needless. <laughs> and I was like, really, really, you had to go there. You couldn't think of something better. Don't use my camera to fix your hair. Uh, I will do whatever I goddamn well <laughs> please. No, you won't. I'm John Wick. <laughs> anyway, uh. <laughs> I can't do Keanu Reeves. I'm not that deadpan. So it's really not that hard. You're still smiling. That really kind of disqualifies. Sorry. My name is Neo. I know kung fu. But more importantly, I know how to act. No, you don't. I saw the darkling. Just kidding. <laughs> don't give me death glares. It's okay. I meant the very first draft. The first. There draft. is no Michael. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? I was trying to bend. <laughs> ah, I see. All right, so that's probably why I should do exorcist shit. Okay, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> so does this yeah. mean they're really retweet this review? <laughs> if I put that little hashtag, they told us in the beginning of the movie. Because they might have some questions for me. <laughs> 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 it's like, can we censor the language? No. <laughs> we'll censor the pre-screening, but then we'll do the real review and go off the deep end. It depends what I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, other than that, like, when this week comes out, I do definitely recommend it. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's definitely one of the best action movies I've seen this year. It beats the hell out of the Equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told. I mean, Equalizer wasn't bad, it just wasn't great. Yeah. But it had some good action moments in there, but no, this is much better. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I mean, overall, it's one of those things, it's a lot of fun. This is a really short review yeah. <laughs> for us, anyway. Um, no, it's a lot of fun. I had a good time with it. Yeah. It's not meant to be a smart... Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention was the, sub the use of subtitles was very interesting. The entire time... I was going to mention that, too. The entire time, I thought of Max Payne 3. A little bit, like the same thing with the bratty thing instigating the whole thing is kind of reminiscent of Max Payne 3 as well. But, yeah. So, no, no, I get that, but the the way you used uh, the subtitles is like some random words were like stylized, like yeah. bold face and colored and everything. Yeah. As and I said, first, just like Max Payne 3. <laughs> well, it's like sometimes they, they start out by using like the names of important characters like the wolf or the boogeyman, but then yeah. it, turn, it turns just random words, just get italicized and colored for no real apparent reason. It's like, okay, what are you looking at? Nothing. Oh god, it's Jack John Wick. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's the CIA guys running the theater. Run! <laughs> <laughs> they know we're recording this, we need to go. <laughs> we're talking about spoilers. <laughs> By the way, if you're gonna if you're gonna make if you're one of those people who tries to hide their phone when they ask security asks to check it, turn off the fucking sound. Yeah, thank uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, a little thing. We had to put our phone. We had to give them our phones. I understand. They don't want pirates, you know, recording things. <laughs> or at least these dumbass pirates. Yeah. So there was one guy who not only snuck his phone, who apparently snuck his phone in. He had the freaking ringer on. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. Say it. Let it go. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Damn it, no! <laughs> now you know my rage. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we have fun. So I think that's about as far as we're going to go with this. Yeah. So I think we probably wrap this up. Uh, so it's probably a shorter review, but I hope you still had fun. Uh, yeah, when this movie comes out in 24th, I think? Yeah. 22nd, 24th, so on those lines? 24th. 24th. I, I recommend it. Yeah, go see it. It's actually a lot of fun. If you if you like good action movies, especially when that's kind of a little bit more like 80s, 90s style, you'll like this movie fine. It's, it's, yeah. it's uh, not as like 
unsubtle as Commando or anything like that, but <laughs> it is just that extreme one-man army kind of movie. So if you like those movies, kind of movies, you'll like this one fine. Yeah. I would say more than fine. You'll probably really like this movie. So, uh, you got any final thoughts? I mean, what else is more to say? It's just a great stylistic exercise in action. Uh, I'm really surprised that they made how they found so many ways for him to kill a man with different shots. Right. <laughs> like, the thing that shocked me is like, he never killed any one guy. Well, very rarely did he ever kill one guy the same way. He found way they found ways to like actually mix up the ki you know mix up the attacks and whatnot before he. <laughs> no, you're right. Like it's one of those things. Like the action was uh, simple, and yet there was enough variety to it yeah. that didn't get old. So yeah, yeah I completely. It was agree. all so fluid. It was. It was very fluid, and that's made it interesting. Is the fact that like it had a clear. Uh, Keanu Reeves do all his own stunts in this movie. I wouldn't be surprised. It looked like he did. But, uh, no, like, it does have a very, it does, it, like, when it moves, it doesn't, none of it feels clunky. Even, like, yeah. the fast edits feel like they have a nice pacing to it. Yeah. So, you're right, they actually do have a very nice pacing to them. They're, like, they're very, they look great. Yeah, I also appreciate that they actually focus, like, on a lot of those. Like, they did rel I'm not sure if they were long takes or not, but they're definitely, they held their, they held the camera there to, like, let you appreciate what Yeah, they're not doing the shaky cam bullshit. Yeah. So. Which I can't stand. I mean, they did some quick edits. I made it hard to tell what was going on sometimes. But even then, that was even that's not nearly as bad as say the Expendables three or anything like that. Uh, there's worse movies out there, man. Trust me. That's true. <laughs> At least it get its unrated cut coming out. But I'm not gonna watch it. I was gonna say it's probably gonna be much better. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think you have is anything else you want to add or be good? No, it's, it's just as I said, it's. it's uh, it's just a great, you know, throwback to, like, a time when action movies were overall better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So And, like, it accomplishes what it does in spades. <laughs> yes. Maybe they can be again. We can hope. We can dream. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going with this, so I'm just going to say, I'll see you all next time. Uh, whatever. With the judge? The judge, that was it, thank you. And then followed by Dracula, I think, probably. Yep. And, then and who knows, maybe we'll do an actual full-fledged review in which it's... Maybe. Not much different. I, I could just send you Muha to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That broke my keychain. <laughs> John Wick! <laughs> Alright, see ya. <laughs>